my nigga, I'm gone. Turned up in the zone, VIP with a bitch all alone. My nigga, I'm gone. Yo, it's another episode of Drinks with Jinx, the podcast where we chill and conversate and drink. I got one of the internet's most hated right now, low key. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They be hating on you, my G. The one and only uh, G Face. What's cracking, pimp? How you doing, my loved one? Man, I'm good, my G. You kept your motherfucking word. You pulled up on me, dog. It took you about an hour and a half, but goddamn it, you got here. Came you know what I'm saying? So, what's up, man? How you feeling? Chilling, my loved one. Chilling, chilling, man. Blessed to be alive. You know what I mean? God is good. That part. How's everything with you? Uh, man, I'm blessed, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, taking one day at a time, dog. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Getting this hustle, getting this money, dog. Straight up. I'll be fucking with this platform tough, man. So, I, you know, I already had to pull up, man. Seeing a lot of good people come over here. Yeah. I know we overdue, yeah. man. I know we were supposed to do it before, man. And uh, I don't know. Something with the phone situation yeah, on my man. end and your end or yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah. 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 Man, my, no, my Instagram, man. These clowns hacked it. Got it deleted. Oh. But I finally got verified on this Instagram. I've been going so viral that right. IG finally verified me. Oh. So now I'm chilling. Got that blue check. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's all Gucci now. Man. That's right. That's right. Yeah, so let's I have to pull up. For you. Right. No, for sure. And I appreciate it, big dog. I appreciate you Look. being in traffic, you know what I'm saying, just to pull up on me mm -hmm. and all that. Um, shit, let's drive right into it, dog. So so I want to get right into it. Let, let, you're originally from Armenia. Mm -hmm. Originally. Yeah. What age did you move to the U.S.? Um. From Armenia, I moved to the uh, to the States around 90, 98, 97. I was like 12, 13. I was a kid, 12, right? 13, yeah. okay. I went to Russia for a little bit, came over here. Uh -huh. um, about a year after that, man, I was I was already like 13, 14. Mm -hmm. My cousin and them were already gangbanging out here. They were from white fans. So I started hanging around with them. Okay. Started getting into trouble. Went to boot camp for six months. Um mm -hmm. Went to Cal Camp Kilpatrick. Um, I don't know if y'all remember, they did that movie Gridiron Gang. With yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was in that camp, uh, Camp Challenger Smith. Nice. I caught some more time for fighting. Did 11 months. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got out. Um, about a year and a half, I was out. And then at the age of 15, April 3rd of 2000, I went to prison for a car-to-car -car shooting. Um, they wow. charged me with discharging a firearm with gross negligence. But while I was on the run, I had no money. I was a kid. I was right. doing little stick-ups and shit. Right, right. I'm um, doing little robberies. Um, one of my after I got arrested, my crime that I had, he kept doing the robberies. He continued. So when he got busted, he tried to work a deal with the detectives and said, "Hey, look, if y'all give me a deal, I'll tell you about some robberies we've been doing." They said, right. "Cool." Okay. So whenever he exposed, hey man, we was in in and out. We did this to these three dudes. Right. They went and took a six pack photo to those victims because they had already called the cops. Like, hey. Would you happen to see your victim over here? Right, sure right. enough, they picked me. I remember my probation officer came to see me. I was about 15 years old, 14, 15. Mm -hmm. She said, uh, man, I got some bad news for you. I said, what's up? She said, look, they're going to charge you as an adult. I said, for what? He said, because of the shooting and the fact that you're getting three counts of armed robbery on your charge, you, you're not going to be charged as an adult. Because I thought I was going to go to camp. I'm 15. Yeah, boot camp types, juvenile yeah, hall shit. Yeah. Right. But, um, I've said it in a lot of uh, places. In that <clears throat> year, Governor Gray Davis, he passed the law. Proposition 21, if you're a juvenile and you charge you charge with like robberies, carjacking, uh, all that serious stuff, right, right. you get charged as an adult. So the state of California doesn't look at you as a kid no more. Damn. So yeah, man, I lost my fitness. Um, I started, they moved me at the age of, now it was already 16 because I was fighting my case for about a year, 14, 15 months. Right. So I lost my fitness. They sent me to the LA County Jail. We were in 4,600. We had red jumpsuits. Everybody in that place was all under 17 and all facing life. Most of them were getting life sentences. So, yeah, man, I took a deal for uh, uh, two strikes in four years. Okay. I went to prison. I went to Tehachapi. At that time, they were sending juveniles to Tehachapi. I turned Oh, by eight. California City over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. Yep. Okay. Four seasons. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, I turned, uh, I turned 18. Boom, they mm -hmm. shipped me out. They shipped me out to uh, Salinas Valley Sea Yard. Mm. Over there, I got into a little sticking situation. Got two years added to my time. Did it. Paroled out of Corcoran. Um, I yeah. paroled. December 1st, 2006. I went in in April of 2000, paroled December 6th. Okay. I was out about 13, 14 months, went back in 2008, Damn. paroled 2020, May 29th. Yeah. And been out since? Well, yeah, I've been out three years, absolutely. Damn, yeah. By the grace man. of God, it's the longest I've been ever. Don't go back, man. No, that's, that's it. That's it, big So dog. when I say hey, 14, 15 years, from 2000 to 2020, <clears throat> right. I was out a total of 16 months. Let me so. Damn, yeah, bro. man, but no more, man. No right, more. yeah, yeah, no more. Now, now I know you mentioned up, uh, mentioned about um, white fence. Mm -hmm. You got put on. 
At 13 years old. At 13. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. so you, so when you went to when you was going to boot camp, when you went to prison jail, all that shit, you was away from the hood. That's the reason I got. I went in with six months. That's the reason I got out after eleven. Oh. Okay. Because seeing boot camp and stuff, when you fight, they refile on you. Right. They right. add time to you. It's 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 real bad. Right. So and, and it's a lot of fights over there. It's it's Damn. you enemies, you fighting. It ain't like prison where it's a race thing. Right. Know? Right. Right. So yeah. Um. Soon as I got in there, it was fights. My my hood got a lot of enemies. You feel me? Damn. And the fact that I'm Armenian, you already know they're gonna test you. you know? That part you gotta go harder, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Double Damn. Time, so, yeah. so so um, tell me a story or a time where you had like you know uh, uh, <laughs> like a riot or some shit like that occurred in prison. Man, it's been a lot of them, bro. It's been a lot of them, man. To be honest with you, yeah. When you go into prison, right, like, I'll be out here outside, I'll have friends that are black, right? When right. you go in there, man, it, it sucks because you can't really deal with them, you can't really associate with them, you feel me? Um, it, it just sucks because you they they force this hatred on you, you mm. know what I mean? Like, you come out with hate in your heart for certain people, certain races, and right. it's messed up, man. That's the thing. Like, anybody that's got a good heart, peace of mind, you go in there, you're going to come out as a different person. They might not Damn. admit it, but it's really, really bad in there, you right, know? Right, right. And what's the cold part about it that I learned... Um, I remember one time, I was young, I was like 17, 18 years old. Mm -hmm. um, I was supposed to go to chow, cop didn't pop my door, it was the tower cop. Right. So I was yelling out the door like, you, you bitch, woo, woo, disrespecting him. Right. He popped the door and he disrespected me. He's like, man, you a little, you know what I mean? You a yeah, little, right. am I allowed to cuss on this thing? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you a little, because you know. What, I, a little bitch or what he yeah, say? Yeah, like, you a little bitch. <laughs> right. Woo whoop, and right. I'm, I'm sorry, cussing him when then OG came and goes, hey man, the, you know, the dude disrespect you. Right. You gotta get off on him. Yeah, off top. So I was like, it's a cop though. You know, he's like, you shouldn't have disrespected him. So that's the way I learned my lesson. Cause they wow. you know, I had to get checked, I had to get beat up on that. Right. So in, in prison, like I said, I would, as, as a kid, I would get tested a lot, I would get beat up a lot. But that's the way I learned. You right. feel me? I never grew up with no role models or anybody to tell me what. And mind you, at 15, 16, they threw me in with the wolves. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I had to learn the hard way, man. I had to learn the hard way. But at the end of the day, it, it made me who I am today. Man. Right. You know I mean? Right. That's why um, I don't know if y'all saw on YouTube, I had posted on my paperwork because these clowns be like, oh yeah, he used to be from AP, bro. Year 2000, I went to prison. If people know that I've been to prison, my CDC number is V10017. So if anybody that's ever been to the CDC, like, you know, you had Crip Mag, you had the homie X4 from 40. Right, right, right. As soon as you tell a person what CDC number he is, I could tell you exact year and exact month you were there. So it popped up. Well, no, just because I know the V numbers is from 2000 to 2003. P numbers are from 97 to 2000. Mm. So when they give you their number, I'm already knowing what If they year bullshit, they're not, right. Yeah, but you could already know what year they were there. Right. right. So that's what when I had posted my paperwork and, you know, year 2000, mm -hmm. B10017, affiliation, white friends. But, you know, you got these clowns. They'll have one subscriber come on his YouTube. Oh, yeah, you used to be from AP. <laughs> Bro, just because I'm Armenian, I'm not from AP. Exactly. So then that's when I went viral for that video when I said I got $20,000 for anybody that could find an active game member from AP. Yeah. That could say, oh, boy, used to be from the hood. Damn. And, you know, I'm doing music videos. I just dropped the music video. Yeah, you did. With the homies from the hood. So yeah, it's did. like in the set. You feel right. me? So and didn't that, pull up with no fucking security, I don't, no crew. Yeah, you can't, you know, with your lovely right wife. Here, that down, part, yeah. that part. So, so everybody you know that knows they see me, I'm always with my wife. Man. I'm always with my wife because that's my best friend. Right, that part. It's it's difficult for me to out here say I got friends, friends because nine times out of ten, people that's in my life, yo man, can I borrow some money? Yo, they they with me because of what I have. You feel see, me? and that's not cool. And, yeah. and, and I'm gonna tell you something, big dog. Like <clears throat> when it comes to the whole money thing, I don't borrow. I I, I don't. Lend out money. Yeah. I look because a lot of times, yeah. So if anything, if you need a couple hundreds, you need a couple G's, I'll just give it to you. Mm -hmm. I don't, you don't even give it back to me. That's how you lose friends. Yeah, exactly. I've lost yeah. friends because of that, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's fucked up, man. But, you know, it is what it is, homie. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Literally about a month ago, man, I had posted it on my YouTube page. Mm -hmm. I had a buddy of mine call me, said, look, man, I'm really doing bad. Right. I need 20 bands. And Damn. I said, look, if you doing that bad, you can't pay them, guaranteed you ain't gonna be able to pay me. Right. You're a good friend of mine. I don't wanna lose a friendship between you and right. me. So I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna give you that. He said, cool. <sighs> Next day he hit me up, like, cause you know, I'm a girl weed, right? Right. So he said, yo, man, you got some packs? I said, yeah, I got about 15 of them. Right. So he said, I got a person that wants some. Let mm -hmm. me sell it and at least make a little hundred or something off top. Mm -hmm. Cool. I give him the packs. He said, he's gonna pay me tomorrow. I hit him up. What's up? He hit me, like, yo, man, I apologize, bro. I spent the money. I knew you weren't going to give me the cash, so I just spent your money. Right. Give me about a week, I'm going to get it. Obviously, that week turned into a month. And right. Now he's on the run from me. It's like wherever I see him. So no call, no text thing. back. Nothing, No, bro. no replying nothing. back, nothing. Nothing, bro. That sucker I shit, took that man. L, but not only did I take an L, that 20K is 20K, man. I, to me, it's not about money, man. It's about principle. Yeah. Like, yeah. I got a quarter million dollar watch on, bro. That like part. I said to your boy, like I, I, I walk around with it, literally, bro. 
Just so they say we ain't hating, bro. As you How much see, is that right there? 70000 Can I hold that? Just the guy ain't never even held seven. I think the most a nigga held is like... Maybe 30,000 at a time. This is how much? Just so, just so they don't say nothing. 75, this is 70 bro. fucking yeah, thousand go dollars. It, go through it. Yeah. What the fuck, bro? Yeah, go through it. Look, all hundred. God damn. So that shit is that fake, fake, bro. Shit. Yeah, nah, this ain't fake, yeah, bro. I, 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 nah, this ain't no prop money. This that. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's legit, bro. That's that. So, so it's not that's about the money, right dog. It's not right. about the money. It's all about <laughs> principle, dog. Because right. I lost and a keeping good your friend. word as a yeah, fucking yeah, man, yeah. bro. I'm yeah. just sad that I lost a good friend. You right. How like, long did you know that nigga for? Man, years, bro. Years. And he's always been into shit, bro. He's like 45 years old, always into shit. Oh, he's too old to be acting and, like and that. And he's the type of person that he's in the wee business too. <clears throat> he stays getting robbed. Right. You feel me? And I'm always getting his shit back. But it just sucks. That's why I did a video. I said, look, man, if you don't want to lose a close friend that you have, no matter how bad he's doing, right. pray for him, bro. Yeah. Don't, don't yeah, lend him no money because you're going to lose some good friends. Right. Now, look, look, the first time I came across you, bro, it was on the internet when um, Swifty was, uh, Swifty Blue, shout out Swifty Blue. He's, he's going to be pulling up too. Um, uh, when, he, when he was doing the whole check-in thing mm -hmm. here in LA and I seen you, I was like, damn, who's this big dude with the beard like on some Suge Knight type shit, right? So that's how I first came across you. Then you started popping up on TikTok on my shit about the trucking business. Let's get into that, the whole yeah. trucking shit, man. Because because I know you, you, you motivate people, dog, to do better. Absolutely. And I respect that and I love that, homie. Um, you're not out here pushing no negative narrative. Now, if a motherfucker fuck with you, you got to do what you got to do. That's different. But as, other than that, you want some positive shit. Yeah. Break down the whole trucking business and what intrigued you sure. to even want to do the trucking sure. shit, dog. Because it's a great hustle. Yeah, yeah. I got homies that do trucking, dog, yeah. and these niggas make my fucking mom. money, dog. Tell them, bro. No, Tell them. It, it, dog. All these clowns talking about business is bad, man. Right. Business is booming. Yeah, that part. Um, before I get there, I'm going to tell you about that Swifty part. Oh, yeah, yeah, mind. yeah. Go ahead. So the way yeah. I met him, you know, that video went viral for the whole check-in part. And right. And a lot of people got their little feelings. Had started, the right? app and all that yeah. shit. Yeah. So look, bro, that's the day I had met him. He hit me up on Instagram like, yo, man, I really mess with your music. You want to do a song together? I said, cool, pull yeah. up. Yeah. He pulled up to the studio with the homie Yellow Hill. Shout out to- uh, Shout out Yellow Hill. Yellow He's Hill. been on here too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're working on a song together, and he hit me. He's like, yo, bro, is that your McLaren outside? The yellow one? I said, yeah, that's mine. He said, uh, do you mind if we could do a video in the front of your car? I said, yeah, I don't care. Go ahead. Yeah. So as I'm about to record, he goes, nah, you come in the video with me. I said, cool. He said, I said, what am I supposed to do? He said, just chill there. I said, right. mind you, I'm not knowing what he's going to say. Right. I don't know anything about this dude, right? This was before the whole Lil G got, uh, he slapped him or all that drama. Oh, right? yeah, 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 yeah. So um, <clears throat> standing there, and, you know, a boy presses record and he starts saying look what people misunderstood is when he was saying people come and check in what he was talking about is blacks checking with your black folks right. mexicans checking with your mexican right. but everybody took it as in everybody that comes in checking with us mm. you feel me and i'm standing mm. inside like you know pull out the banger right right so the next day i wake up bro it's on twitter <laughs> it's on insta i'm like bro it's shit went viral bro text messages of yeah. people that are you know what i mean like yo what's, what's so I'm explaining to these people, like, bro, that's not what well, we're not talking about checking with us. Right. We ain't nobody, you feel me? Um, but yeah, that Damn. was the only time I had ever met the dude, you feel me? Right. So yeah, a lot of people started hating and, and, and speaking on me and this and that and snitch this, hater this. But you, and you know me, I'm the type of person, you know, my wife always tells me, like, look, you you bigger than that. Let that go, let that go. But I I'm, I'm the type of person, like, man, I I control too, you feel me? Yeah. Talk yeah. that shit, but if we see each other, man, it's on one of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah no sure. questions asked. I'm ready to go for right. out for mine. You feel right, me? that part. But yeah, that that that's what I want to talk about. The trucking part. So look, when I paroled out of prison, right? Mm -hmm. When you parole, you parole with two hundred dollars gate money. That's what they give right, you to right. go out, get a train, go home. Mm -hmm. I had no job everywhere I would go because the way I look. I mean, you already was tatted up like this at that time. I was tatted up like this on my first prison. Term. What was your first tattoo you got? The, the very my, first my tattoo. first tattoo I got was a cop killer on my face. Oh shit! Right there. Yeah, damn. And then I did the head, the face, the West LA on the face. What's the most painful one you got? The most painful one, I would say the Norte killer underneath my arm. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. I have an NK for Norteño killer. Okay. Uh, and no, no disrespect to the Northerners. I'm, right. You know that's the tattoo I right, got. Right, 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 right. Um. So yeah, I got out, man, and nobody's trying to give me a job, no nothing. One of my boys tells you me nothing, huh? nothing, bro, nothing. And my goal was just to help my wife because I remember the first day I got out, my wife was living in this uh, Section Eight apartment. I, mind you, I've nine yeah. years. I've never known where she's lived. I've been with her for eighteen years. So I remember the first day I walked in. It was like four in the morning by the time I came home because, mind you, I paroled from Pelican Bay, right. Crescent City, California. So by the time I came home, it took like seventeen, eighteen hours. Shh. 
Um, you know, train, car, Uber. Uh, you know what All I mean? All that shit. Yeah. So by the time I came home, and I remember hugging her, I walked in. Yeah. And it was like stress came on to me, man, because the rooms were so small. And I was like, what the? So mm -hmm. that night I told her, I said, I promise you, we're going to get up out of here. Mind you, this was 2020, May 29th, right? About three years ago. Right. So I'm looking for a job. One of the boys I was cool with said, look, I'm, in, I'm working in a truck dispatching company. Come work with us. Mm -hmm. It's only commission. What you do is you sell loads to truck drivers. Okay. So I said, cool. I go there. Man, I got young 22, 23 year olds making 15, 20 thousand dollars a month, every month. I'm the first one in there at four in the morning. Remember, you got to get in there four o'clock because East Coast. Right. That's already seven. Yeah, that, yeah, Business is exactly. booming over there. Right. So you got to get in there yeah. four o'clock, and I'm leaving at five o'clock every right. day. I'm Damn. calling companies. You basically have to like call these companies like Target, Costco. Say, hey, I have a truck available. You know, how much would you pay, charge for pay for a shipment? Mm -hmm. They'll give you a price. You you haggle. They say no. You hang up. You keep calling. You just make calls yeah. all day. You try to do the best deal, yeah, right? Best okay. deal to get because you are competing with other independent contractors, thousands, right? Bro. Okay, thousands. Yeah, okay. you just got to learn the trick of the trade, right? So I would come home, bro, beat, telling my wife, man, I'm the first one in, last one out. Why are these little kids making all this money? Yeah, I'm barely right. hitting like three hundred. Mind you, it's commission, hundred dollars. What, like three hundred a day? You were making no three hundred a month. Yeah, cause that's it was out because I'm telling you, so it's really, really hard to sell loads and get loads wow, because rates bro. be down, or yeah. you'll call a person, he'd be like, I already got a person I'm right, working right, with, right, or right. I already got a you feel me? And I'm talking about I'm making 200 to 300 calls a day. Right? <sighs> so Damn. my wife told me, man, my wife told me, just keep doing this. Don't quit, don't quit. Mm -hmm. 300 turn to 600, 600 turn to thousand. Boom, I got a contact from Amazon, bro. My first month I made 10K, second month I made 15K. And Damn. Then, yeah, and then my boy was telling me, he said, look, man, you know, I got two trucks. I'm doing a lot of money. Get you a truck. And I asked him, I said, how much would it cost? He said, for $20,000, you could get yourself a truck company with a truck, trailer included. So I said, 20 k that's it? He said, that's it, bro. 20 G. That's it. And Not I a asked penny him, more. I said, explain it to me. He said, look, bro, truck, right now, a semi truck, if you go to Facebook market, if you go to Craigslist, uh -huh. a semi, we're talking about a Freightliner Cascadia, a, a Volvo, a, a International don't buy a Peterbilt. Don't buy a, one of those uh, expensive uh, Kenworth because those are like the Lamborghinis of trucks. Unless you the driver, stay away from those trucks. Okay. We're talking about a Volvo International a Freightliner. Those are like the Toyota Corollas of trucks. Right. So you put $10,000 down on that truck, okay. your payment's going to be like $900 a month. How about if you don't have the best credit? If your credit's five I, or something. So you could have the worst credit. I have financers that will approve you on anything. You just got to pay a higher percentage down payment. Okay. But mind you, if the truck is $25,000, how high can your down payment be? Exactly. You know what that's I mean? True. That's so true. So let's just say you put $10,000 down on the truck. Okay. Okay. That's, that's 25 that's Gs. No, no, you're putting ten thousand on a down on a down, on payment, down payment on a twenty five thousand dollars truck. Okay, so I'm trying to break down the twenty k. So remember, I told you twenty <clears> k <throat> to open up a trucking business, right? All right. So you put ten k down on the truck. Okay, you got your truck. A trailer, you could get it from the East Coast for about six to seven thousand dollars cash. So if you put two k down on a trailer, three k down on a trailer, you got yourself a trailer for four hundred a month, right? So now we at what? We at 13,000, right? Yeah, 13,000. Okay. Uh -huh. To pay for your invoice, we're talking about your MC, your DOT, your BOC3, your corporation. It's going to cost you around three grand. Now we at 16. 16,000 right? now, right? Now you need an insurance for the truck. Okay. You're going to have to pay $4,000 down, and your payment's going to be probably like 1300 a month, right? That's, that's it. You got your truck, you got your trailer, you got your insurance. Damn. So what I offer when I, when I offer my business on this TikTok, what I tell people, I say, look, if you got 20, anybody, you could be a, uh, mind you, my first client was a cop, bro. Uh, shout out to Justin from Vegas, man. He, he hit me up, my first client. He said, yeah. look, man, I want to let you know I'm a police officer in Vegas. Uh, and he a hood dude like us. From, he's right. originally from Brooklyn. He moved out to oh, Okay, Vegas, from New York, right. Yeah, to become a cop, whatever. Um, me and my wife flew out there because he's booming. He retired. We, we went out there, partied with him. Ship up, nigga, because yeah, you sweating yeah, like yeah. a motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Salute, bro. Salute. <laughs> so, boom. He, he was my first client. Yeah. So this is what I do, bro. I charge two k up front for the trucking. I charge twenty five hundred dollars for the brokerage. Right? Okay. To open up a brokerage is only five thousand dollars. It's the twenty five hundred that I charge. Right. Another three grand that you have to pay to FMCSA again for your brokerage MC, for your brokerage DOT, for your brokerage corporation, and you have yourself a brokerage. It's okay. the cheapest thing to open up. Right. The reason I do this business, my brother, is because right now the trucking prices are all the way low. Shippers will give a broker a high price on the truck, but since the rates are low, like a shipper from Amazon could give you from LA to Texas for six thousand, 
you know that the rates are low, so you'll post it on a brokerage board for about three grand. Mm. When in reality, you should post it for five and make like a thousand dollar profit. Yeah. You're posting it for three. Drivers calling you like, yo, can you do four, man? I'm really doing bad. You're like, no, I could do 35, take it or leave it. Yeah. And you just made three thousand dollar profit. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? So my what I teach people is forget the broker, open up your own brokerage, deal with the shippers directly. You get what I'm trying so to say? So how do you do that? Open up your own brokerage? How, how do you- So that's what I do for you. That's oh, why okay. I say I charge 2K up front for the trucking, 2500 okay. for the brokerage. Okay. So let's just say right now you send me the 4500 Okay. We get on the phone. I, I ask you for your name and your last name. You give me two addresses, two phone numbers. Okay. One address and phone number is going to go for your trucking company. The other address, phone number is going to go for your brokerage. Okay. Right? Your social, and then you pick a business name that nobody has. I hook Ooh. you up with an agent from FMCSA that I have. She checks to see if that name's available. They send you two invoices, the one for 3K each. Right. Once you pay that, 10 days later, you're going to get some paperwork called Article of Corporation. Okay. With that, you're going to go to your bank. You're going to open up two business accounts, and you're going to get checks. So whenever a driver does a load for you, you pay him with those businesses. Yeah, hell yeah. And then the shipper direct deposits the money in there. Damn. So you know how you got these clowns like Wes Watson and all these dudes? You pay me $25,000, I'll be your life coach. And he calls you, says, you know, yells at you and... Do push-ups, you fat motherfucker. Uh, yeah. Bro, I don't do that, bro. I'm yeah. not no fucking life coach. I post videos on TikTok, and I will never, ever message anybody saying, hey, you want this business? I don't do that. I post a video. Right. You want to hit me up? Hit me up. If not, we are not. We don't got nothing to talk yeah. about. Yeah, yeah. So once we do the paperwork, right, once we uh, uh, you, your business gets activated, you open up two bank accounts, I help you get a truck. Okay. So what I do is I'll tell you, look, go on Craigslist, go on Facebook Market, look for a Freightliner. Don't pass 800,000 miles. Uh, uh, don't get one with a, you know, a DD engine or whatever. Right. Uh, once you get the truck, I'll tell you what it, uh, trailer to get. 53-foot dry van with swing doors. Make sure it does not get older than a 2008 because some shippers don't accept it. Mm. Once we get you the trailer truck, I help you get insurance. I got insurance agents on standby. Damn. If you ain't got the money and you ain't got the credit, I got financers who will finance you no matter what state of California you in. And once that, like that, G-Fake? like that, my brother. And once that's done, so look, bro. Whenever you open up a trucking company in in anywhere in the United States for the first year, you cannot work, bro, because you're oh, new. Wow. Your MC needs to be minimum of one year old before any broker will give you a load. There's some brokerages who give you a company uh, loads if you're minimum six months, but they're paying horrible. All the good companies like XPO, Nolan Transportation, uh, uh, Western Express, mm. they're not. They're not Western giving Freight you, and all Western them Freight, ah. uh, Amazon, Harbor Freight too. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're yeah. not a uh, Harbor Freight. Ah. Is another one, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not paying you shit, bro. Unless you got minimum of a year. Right. So what I do, and that's the reason why all these wow. clown little white boys with the Mohawks, the truckers, tools, and all these bullshit started. Oh, he's a scammer. He's a double broker all over TikTok. Was because what I do is. Once I open up your business, it will be wrong for me to have you sit down your ass for a year. Yeah. I book loads with my company brokerage, and I give them to you to deliver. You get it? So that's, in reality, they say double brokering, but what they don't understand is I lease you on to my company. Oh. I let you sign a contract because I know how to wiggle, you know what I mean? Right, right, that part. Yeah, that part. so Can't I- Kick them all the game on camera. Right. Yeah, 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 that part. But yeah. I, I, I give you loads for a year straight, free of charge. I don't charge no percentage. Damn. In reality, I could tell you, look, bro, every three months, I need you to pay me uh, 3K because I'm guaranteeing you every month, every one month, after your overhead is paid off, you're going to make ten to $15,000 a month. What's the lease I will make per, per shipment? Like load it's not per shipment. You got to count it by month. So oh, every okay. month minimum, you're going to take home 15 k after your overhead is paid off. And when I mean overhead, your truck payment, uh, your insurance, insurance payment, everything, paying everything, whoever, yep. all, to Absolutely. come home with 15 g 15000 a month. Clean. That's nice. Now, once you, you, you hook up a shipper, uh -huh. that's when you don't need me anymore. You don't need my loads because now you're making over thirty to $40,000 a month. And unlike all the people, wow. like I said, I like to come with receipts, my brother. Yeah. So last month with my brokerage alone, right? right. No, I believe you got 70 Gs in the pocket. They got some... How much did I make last month? It circled up top. Uh, 53,000. Well, 54,000. There you go. Yeah, in one, one month. month. Yep, That's some bread, bro. Yeah, bro. You making more than these rappers out here. Man, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, bro. I'm not, like, bro, like, yeah. This, this is what I'm trying to say, bro. A lot of these people, they just talk, right? Right, uh, right. Look. Damn. Look. Let's see. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. That's one. Oh, wow. Hold what up. you mean one? That's just one? Oh, wow. That's two. That's right now? Yeah, what do you mean? I'm just opening damn. it up in front of you. Damn. I'm using my face to open it up. Yeah, yeah, damn, bro. And that's my chase. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's that say? Just say uh, it. Uh, it's over a million, bro. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah. Sure. You see this well? Yeah, yeah, look, yeah. Look, look, look. Hold up. Like I said, we come with receipts. Look. Right, right. It's opening up my face. All these people hating on you on TikTok. They look. Hate. Man. Oh, yeah. So, nice. like I said, bro, a lot of these people will say something, man, <clears> but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter to me because... They just hate us. If, if you ain't got enough money to me, I ain't trying to hear nothing you Well, it's just not that. Bro. Most of these motherfuckers is broke, miserable. They yeah. stay at home with Miss mommy still. Company, right. They yeah. stay in the studio. You know what I'm saying? They, yeah. they ain't got no car, right? But but they got all the brand new J's yeah. on, but they ain't got no car. What did I pull up in right now? Oh, that Lambo, that blue one. Yeah. You already know what I'm Shit, saying, bro. So, like I said, man, like... No matter what I do, everybody will say, oh, it's uh, uh, it's it's a rental. It's this and that. Right, so you right. really can't shut anybody up and it doesn't really matter. But everything I say, I come with receipts, bro. There you go. My thing is, if I see somebody on TikTok or on Instagram coming and giving you free game for a punk ass $4,500, man, I'll light a candle for this dude, bro. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. But they, oh, he's scam. He's this and that. Yeah. And, and another lick that I do that I help people make money, which is what I was going to put you on, right? Yeah. So like I said, everything I do is legit, legal. Let's just say, for instance, I'm playing with big money, bro. But let's just say you got twenty thousand dollars right now. Okay. Right? You don't want to go through the hassle of buying a truck, finding a driver, and all that. All that shit, right? I have a buddy of mine. He he runs a hedge fund company, right? Okay. So he does stock. You give him twenty thousand dollars cash. Okay. Now, mind you, before you go, you might be skeptical. You could go to your trust, most trusted lawyer, attorney, sign a contract, quote us on it, right? Right. You give him $20,000 cash, bro. Okay. In 30 days, exactly 30 days, he gives you your 20,000 plus 50% on top, which is 10, which is 30,000. Right, 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 right. You have the option of taking that 30K and going off or leaving that 20K in there and every month just pull out 10K, 10K, 10K and have everything paid off. Or you leave that 30,000 and next month in the 60 days, that 30,000 turns into what? 45. Yeah, 45,000. Right? Yeah. If you leave it for the 90th day, that 45,000 turns 60, in. 60,000. And then 75,000. It's, it's 75,000. No, yeah. it's 50% of 45. So it's actually 75. Oh, shit. So look, 20 turns into 30. Okay. But now you have 30,000. Right. That 30 turns into what? 50. 40, 45. No, 45. Okay. Right? Now that 45 turns into 60. 75. 75. Oh, because it doubles. 50%. Yeah. Oh, 50% shit. of yeah. Okay. So, like I said, what I do is I'll give him 50. Uh huh. He'll, he'll give me 75. Okay. I'll tell him, keep that 75. Give me 125 in 60 days. Get and it? it's guaranteed money. 100%. You, you want me to call him on speaker while we No, nah, you live? good. You good. No, I'm just saying, <laughs> just to show you, he just brought me $400,000 two weeks ago. Uh, he what owes me. Fuck? This December 29th, this December 19th, he owes me buck seventy five because yeah. I gotta buy another richer meal. Right? That's just dope. Bro. Yeah, this, this I paid two twenty five for this. That's just so nice, I'm getting bro. another one, and then January nineteenth, he owes me six hundred fifty thousand. Let me ask you, yeah. bro, from from being in in prison and 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 all that to having this luxurious life, bro. Like, how do you feel, bro, to have? Because it seems like you're a very humble individual. A lot of people with this type of money. Yeah. And shit, they they they're scumbags, they're pieces of shit, they're bitches, they're 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 punk motherfuckers, they're not humble, they don't care about nobody, they feel like they're on top of the world, which is okay to feel on top of the world, but you gotta help the people under you and yeah. bless them. That's what you do. Yeah. So how does it feel being in the position you're in to, to make sure your kids ain't got a want or need for a motherfucking thing? Right. Bro? So like you could give them what you didn't have. Absolutely. So how does that feel, man? The reason I am the way I am is because I came from nothing. You know what I mean? I, just three years ago, I, right. I had nothing. You feel right, me? So, right. But I always dreamed about this. I manifested this. I used to pray to God, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and used to say, look, God, I know it's not right to pray for money, for wealth, but I, I don't want to be just regular. Not if, I want to live beyond my means, Lord. I want to mm. be a millionaire, but I will work for it. I will bust my ass for it. I will wake up four in the morning. I will, I will grind it. I will earn it. All I ask is you give me a chance. You know what I mean? So... When I got out and I started doing this, 20 turned to 30, 30 and 40, and I had told my wife, I said, look, my goal is going to be to hit 300,000. Once I hit that 300,000, now I knew how I did it. So right. guess what? You just repeat the same process, right? So now that I start making money, I'm the type of person, bro, I don't know if you ever see my videos, like I'll go to yeah, a I watch your shit. for instance, uh, yeah, right? Yeah, I watch like we, we went to Denny's three days ago mm -hmm. and it was, it was dead. It was like Wednesday. There was like four or five people in there. Yeah. Not a much people, bro. I called the hostess. I said, look, pay everybody's check, put it on mine. I didn't say a word to nobody, man. I just left. I just left. Just like that. Just, I'm, so I'm pretty sure when they were asking for their checks, or it was like, oh, the dude with the tattoos that y'all were probably staring at and judging. Ah, stereotyping paid shit. Your shit you right, feel? right. I didn't say nothing. I left because at the end of the day, I'm paying back for, for God. You know what I mean? Right. Like what you did, I'm paying it. I always said, 
if I ever have money, I'm going to do more good on these streets, bro. That is the reason I get on TikTok and I get on Instagram and I try to tell people, look, let me help y'all make money. At the end of the day, the game is to be sold, not to be told. That What's facts. real is real. You, you know what facts, I mean? Like, yeah, like that's why facts. I say what, people will hit me up on Instagram. Like, for instance, I'll get a bunch of messages. Hey, man, I'm trying to talk to you about this business. No problem. I FaceTime them to show them it's me. Right. And I say, once you're ready to hire me, send me the money. We'll talk. You know what I mean? So once they do it, I change their life, man. So at the end of the day, what I was telling my wife is from June, which is when I started this till now, mm. I have over 500 clients, bro. Wow. One of my clients, Kim, just bought a brand new house. That cop, uh, 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 Justin, retired a fucking as a police officer. People wish to have that job. Yeah. He retired at the age of 32. So at the end of the day, it feels good that I'm sitting at home with millions in my bank account. Oh, yeah. And the fact that I'm changing people's lives. Like, for instance, maybe... You're a single father with some kids, and because of me, you ain't gotta go to Kaiser. You ain't gotta go to, you know what I mean? You, mm. You're chilling at home making 20, 30,000 a month. Dang. That's a blessing of itself, bro. That's good karma, bro. You feel me? That's what I was telling my wife. A lot of people come in, look at all these little baby, 42 Doug. They make all that money. What do they do? Spend it on strip clubs. And I have never in my life, I'm 38 years old, I have never in my life stepped foot in a strip club ever. Damn. Bro, what's the point of me walking in there and throwing $50,000? Think about it to a woman that number one probably has a man. They don't care about you. You mind you, you touch him. Probably won't fuck. Bro, you, not right. probably. Bro, if right. you touch him, they're kicking you out of the strip club. Right. Bro. So you're going to throw money at them. And mind you, they look at men as tricks, bro. Right? You, you got to be true. real with this, bro. That they look true. at you as cash. So if I'm the type of person, bro, if I got to pay you to chill with me, I'd rather not have you around. Mm -hmm. So that $50,000, instead of blowing it on them, I'd rather bless some people on the streets. I'd right. rather bless, the, you know what I mean? I'd rather bless some people to eat. That's the way I am. So at the end of the day, it's all about what you do with it. Because look, what I believe is all this that I have, just like this, it could be gone, man. If if he sees that I'm I'm doing it the wrong way. Right. You know, because I, I look at it like, oh, yo, you prayed for it here. I got you. What you going to do with it? <sighs> if you ain't keeping your word, if you 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 moving sideways. So that's why I said when this whole little ha shit happened with this bozo the clown and all these little lames, <laughs> I got on the internet and, and, yeah. and doing this. Oh, we getting nasty now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So when this little Trump ass Paisa, you know what I mean, had no, oh, I mean, shit. the dude's name is a clown, bro. Bozo the clown, bro. So you talk about the dude that went on, um, the little bitch that went on uh, Adam 22. Uh, uh, he with needed a, 40 homies. He came on with the homie American Cholo yeah, on there. Yeah, AC. Okay. Yeah, he yeah, needed yeah, 40 yeah. people with him, you know what I mean? Yeah. The dude's 47 years old, still living with his mom, his aunt, his fucking cousin. They're all helping oh, to pay on a little rented little, you know, house they have. Bro, you're 45 years old, and I realized, bro, he's playing chess. He's dropping a little bullshit mixtape, whatever, called, you know, whatever it is. I'm not going to, you know, push it for him, but Damn. he figured, let me diss some people, get some clout. Bro, you're not making no album sales. You're not making nothing. I told him you should have came to me. How, how, what's the meat and potatoes of it? How did the shit start in the first place? So, so, little tension. Because it's not beef, right? Yeah, yeah. Nah, man. It's, it's listen, just tension. Listen. Like I told him in the video, I'm too rich to go to war with me. Mm. I could pay your homies $30,000 to off you. Simple as that, bro. Damn. Just think about it. I could hit up one of your little homies that's probably a tweaker that probably needs money. Bro, $40,000 right now. Go, Come on, man. They doing this shit for free out here. Let's be real. Wow. Yeah, I got millions of dollars. You don't want to go to war with me. Right. Bozo the clown. You feel Damn. me? Damn. But what happened is when I had went to uh, Adam 22, No Jumper, the mm -hmm. first interview, um, I had told him, you know, about, remember AD's uncle? He went with the whole uh, uh, chair and all this situation. Uh, it homicide, went viral. OG homicide. OG suicide. Suicide, I mean. Yeah, yeah suicide. when he yeah. left, his last interview he did, he had took in a chair. Or, like, yeah, suppose yeah, he was yeah. going to hit Adam. Yeah. So when I went on the show, I told Adam, like, yo, who was that J-Cat that came over here? So the homie AD, shout out to the homie AD, hit up Bozo, the clown. He said, hey, man, can you talk to your boy? Because, you know, he's a Southsider, man. He's speaking on my uncle, whatever. I get a, a message from Bozo. Now, mind you, at this time, he is trolling Swifty. He is trolling some dude named v v Loco or Vloco. Uh -huh. I'm not getting into it. I'm like, bro, some clown shit. Because he's over there claiming that Southside shit. Like, I'm like, why are you doing this trolling? Mm. So he hits me up on Instagram like, yo, man, um, with all due respect, do you mind calling me for a second? Real respectful. I mm. called him. I said, what's up, homie? This G-Face. Wait, who asked to call? Bozo the Clown. Oh, okay. So I called him. Um, <laughs> that's how I have his number when I just showed you. That's fucked up. So I called him. He's real respectful, yeah. right? He's like, hey, bro, I heard about you. I heard some bad stuff, but I'd rather be the judge of myself. First thing I did, send my paperwork. I mm -hmm. said, there it is, homie. Right. He read, hey, homie, I respect the dog. If you could, Adam's a solid dude. You know, I don't want you to get crossed up because of Adam 22. And right. Ooh, ooh. I said, cool. I called Adam to, uh, uh, AD. We spoke. I said, hey, man, out of respect for Bozo, I'm calling you. Saw love. I put his uncle on the phone. We spoke. 
offered to take both of them to a uh, uh, lunch. You know, just chop oh, it up. some cool shit. Yeah, I'm yeah. On some respectful right, shit. You right. know, I told him, look, I'm always turned up. My bad if I overstep or anything. I apologize. I'm right. a man. I'm humble enough to say if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Right. So everything's good. Like a month passes. Uh, uh, I'm like, let me see what Bozo doing. I type his name. Nothing comes up. Mm. I'm like, damn, did this fool delete his Instagram or what's going on? Right. Not thinking nothing of it. Few months passes by. It was two days ago, bro. I get on my Instagram. She's mentioned Bozo dissing G Face and Swifty Blue. I seen somebody posted some, yeah, yeah, some yeah. blogger or something. Blogger, on yeah. I seen somebody, somebody posted. It's gotta yeah. be a, a, a clickbait. Boom! I go on it with his little Paiso voice. He's singing oh G Face, uh, Snitch, this and that. I said, cool. Boom! I hit up uh, uh, Swifty. Hey, my boy, we need to get in the studio. You either coming or I'm doing this shit myself. Right. And we are gonna shoot the music video that day. We finna bury this clown. <sighs> Damn. You know, Swifty said, yeah, yeah, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. So, boom, obviously, Swifty doesn't show up. I don't know if he's scared. Whatever it is, that's on him. I don't even care. Uh -huh. So, I said, I'm going to do oh, it. They, so, they're not cool at the moment, right? No, nah, he been dissing them. Oh, okay. Yeah, they've okay. been trolling way before me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So, the whole shit that happened with Swifty getting slapped by a King Lil G at the mm. stage and not doing nothing and all that. And that, uh, through all this, when I, the whole world, including Adam-22, turned on Swifty... I still stay solid with him, bro. He's never done me bad. Right. I've met the dude one time in my life, person to person at that studio. But I feel like you, you ain't never done me dirty. Why well, I'm going to turn on you because the whole world is. Yeah, exactly. You feel me? You kept your loyalty. Yeah, right. I'm a leader. I'm not a follower. Mm -hmm. So while I'm at, I'm doing this shit and I'm telling my wife, you're like, man, this fool didn't even pull up to the studio. My wife made me realize, yo, you just bought your second $3.5 million house. You already have another house. You have all these cars, all these money. Why are you entertaining that clown? Like, right. are, 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 you, are you, like, not confident in yourself? What is it? And I really thought about it. And I said, that's, what am I doing, bro? Like, why am I out here promoting this man, promoting his album? You know what I mean? There, there's no need for that. Like, I, I know yeah. who I am, bro. Like, right. bro, I'm a fucking millionaire. I'm not even 40 yet. You 45, 47. You claim to be an active Sureño. No real Sureños do that, bro. No real gang member. No Sureño Crip Blood. They don't do that Instagram troll. If you think somebody's a snitch, Walk me down. Do something about it. Mm. You on Instagram, then you talking about, oh, I got permission to say what I said. Okay, now you're a little boy. You need permission from other people to say stuff. But to me, I, I don't respect that. You, you're supposed to be a gang member, bro. Like, I met homies from his hood in Pelican Bay that were with the business. They would right. never tolerate that clown shit. <laughs> but then again, his name is Bozo the Clown. So what could you do? But So I figured, you know what? He has a new pop-up stuff. I'm going to go slap this little bitch boy. Oh, never shit. showed up to the open date. Never showed up. You feel me? I went on live in, in his spot. The dude blocked me, bro. So this whole time, you, you read the message I yeah, just wrote yeah, to yeah, him. Yeah, 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 he yeah. read my message. Yeah. He, he didn't write me back nothing, bro. He blocks me, and then he drops a diss song, bro. If you're going to diss me, at least let me hear about it, bro. Don't block me. You get it? It's yeah. like me dissing you while I have you blocked. That's some bitch ass shit in my eyes, bro. Yeah. If you guys notice, man, I have never got on no no platform and said anything about anybody and not stand my two, ten toes down on it. When the shit happened with T Rail disrespecting the little kid, remember? Oh yeah. I went on it, but I'm here. Meet up. Let's do it anytime, any place. Right. But all that blocking people and disrespecting them, I think that's just some hoe ass shit. I you feel know? you. Now you and Adam are y'all cool right now, or, or so? Or? So let me tell you about Adam, man. The reason I had a lot of love and respect for Adam was for the simple fact that his wife and his child were Armenian. Right. Me, I love my race. I will die for my race. So when when I seen that he was, you know, his kid, this Armenian, I said, yo, bro, like, any issues, whatever you have, I got you. Right. I'm, I'm here for you. Bro, the, when I went to his interview, that shit went viral. Everybody hit me up, man. Stay away from him. He gonna do you dirty. Look what happened to AD. Look what happened to Bell. Look what happened to House Phone. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, yo, I'm not them. I'm me. Right. I'm always cool with him. He, I told him, bro, whoever you got issues with, let me know. I got you. Um, he had issues with that little bitch boy, Milk. Honestly, I don't know how that scary ass fool came out of his balcony into this uh, interview. You By the way, man, I no, if Milk is watching this, man, I offered this man $20,000, bro. I offered this man $20,000 to set your bitch ass up, and he said no to me, man. So you lucky, bro. Because, <laughs> hey, I was about to make this man a really, really rich guy. Yeah, that was, hey, that's facts. You, on my mama, You bro. did offer yeah. me 20 racks on my mama, to I set said, this nigga up. He said, so nah, I can't do mama. it. And I said, nah, I can't. So I respect that, that but yeah. you lucky, white boy. Yeah, you know, somebody else, character. man, would have did it, but I, I ain't got hey, that in my heart, my man. So I want to put that out there. So what happened with you and Milk then? So. So again, I don't never met this white boy. He went on there talking, oh, he's this, he's a rat, this and that, bro. Like, I, I don't understand. Again, I'm okay with these YouTube reactions, but stand on your business if you're saying it. Because right. mind you, you claim to be a Hoover 
crib. You, you, you claim it. You, it's not like you're a regular, just, oh, I'm doing reactions. I would say, all right, go handle your business. I'm right. not, you, you got to make your money, make your views. But if you're claiming you on your, you know, your gang sh shit, come on, man. I, I don't respect that. Yeah. So back to this Adam 22 shit, bro. We go over there. This whole shit happens. Remember when Wack went to uh, American Cholo's door, knocked on yeah, the door? Yeah, yeah. Had so, him on the, ring, on the ringer yeah, uh, camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I guess that's why I took it personal because, mind you, AC's a Mexican dog and I'm, a, I'm Armenian. But I run No, actually, American Cholo was, uh, uh, he, he, he's, he's Salvadorian. Salvadorian. No, yeah, I don't Salvadorian. think he's Salvadorian. No, he's Salvadorian, Salvadorian or Guatemala. Yeah, uh, 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 I believe, I, fuck, I would have to. He's Latino, bro. I'm finna bro. call him right now. Yeah, yeah call him, yeah. I'm finna, but I'm finna call the homie yeah. American Cholo right now on yeah, speaker. He's Latino, that's all that matters. But I yeah. think Honduran or Salvadorian I think Guatemala. No, not Guatemalan. Not Guatemalan. For sure he's not Guatemalan. Hold up, let's see. I'm finna call him right now on speaker. <laughs> Better answer my fucking phone call, Gil. <clears throat> let's see. Let's see. Let's see if he answers. <laughs> right at work or something. Yeah, but anyways. Doing construction shit. Or yeah, something. so. When that whole shit happened, you know, I spoke on whack. I was like, yo, man, I don't I don't respect the fact that, you know, you, you got to keep that shit on the sheets, not go knock no, on the man. No, fool, he's Honduran. I remember. Oh, from, okay, yeah, okay, Honduran. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like 99 yeah. point. Yeah. Any fucking yeah, way, but yeah, go yeah. ahead. I like being correct. Yeah, I, I was, like being, so yeah. yeah you but, winning that. I'm not yeah, even yeah, tripping. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So what I didn't like is the fact that he knocked on that man's door when his wife is home alone. You that's some me? foul shit. Yeah, to me, that's like, that's a no-go. That's like foul. me. I could see milk on the streets and he's with his kid or daughter or whatever. Right. I'm not touching him, bro. Nah. I, I wouldn't get in my cell, see you soon, but I'm not touching him. There's certain rules I don't do. Right. So when that whole situation happened, I spoke on it at No Jump or whatever. Now, mind you, I'm thinking everything, me and Adam, we cool. I'm, you know how they got the Adam and Wax show going? Uh huh. Okay, I get a text from Adam. Because you know how he said, the, oh, he's exposing text messages? Bro, I'm home chilling. I get a text from Adam saying, hey, man, by the way, Wack was talking shit about you today. I think you're going to want to respond. Mm. And I said, Wack was talking shit about me. All right, cool. I wait till the show comes out. I'm watching. I want to see, like, what this man got to say about me. Right. Bro, Wack 100 didn't say a damn thing about me. Adam brings it up and says, Oh, by the way, Wack, G-Face, my boy, was talking shit about you. We got to get you guys in the right. podcast together. Right. So you know Wack. I mean, if you telling a man somebody talking shit about you, he's going to react. Yeah, for sure. Oh, man, G-Face ain't need the snitch. Woo, woo, woo. Right, 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 right. Boom, right. he started that. Now Adam's getting his views, getting his money. I hit up Pesci, the dude I was rapping with, his homie from 2 Ps. Okay. I said, look, dog, I need you to link me up with Wack 100. He yeah. said, cool. I get Wack's number. I call him. I said, hey, OG, I need to see you, homie. Fuck this phone call shit. You said I'm a snitch. I'm pulling up on you. Right, man. Said, man. pull up. Right. I went by myself, strapped. Mm -hmm. He by himself. I respected. I went in there before anything. I pulled out my paperwork. I said, you've been to prison. Read it. In reality, he had the same life as me. Went to prison at a young age. Did the truck. He was a truck right. driver, all that. Oh, so shit. he seen the paperwork, right? We shook hands. I said, look, homie, this is what I'm going to tell you on some G shit. I don't give a fuck if you and Adam got this shit going on. I need you to understand something. You lend that white boy instigate shit between two people that are from the streets. Mm. Look, bro, he said that you was talking shit about me, and in the same video, he said that you talking shit about him. So Adam's chilling in his suburban home in, in, in Calabasas somewhere where I could see Wack on the streets, gun him down for that word snitch. You, you understand what I'm saying, yeah. bro? I'm trying to be a real one here, bro. Right, like, right. And I told Adam, I said, dog, you want some <laughs> whole shit, bro. You, you, and he never answers. So when Wack 100 goes to his show... I don't know if you've seen that. I watched episode. that episode. He mentioned he it. He said, bro, you a suck. Woo -woo. You, you, you telling this message. The entire time, Wack is trying to ask him something, bro. Adam has a habit of, he's never wrong. He, right. He'll never. Oh, but did you see the AK underneath his armpits? Trying to insinuate that it's, you know. I know what I mean. Yeah, yeah but either I Either one or the other one. Right, right, right. I know. N-O-R-T spelled underneath right. his armpits, bro. Right. So again, Wack's telling him, he goes, but you know he was talking shit about you, and then look what he said. He said, you're a rat. Bro, answer the fucking question, bro. He's asking you, you know what you're doing is wrong. But he's the type of person who don't want to admit it, and I texted him. He said, why is G-Face giving out my mess uh, text message? Bro, 
Forget yeah, he didn't like that shit. Giving your text. Adam didn't like that shit. Well, I G face <laughs> don't like being fucking. Uh, I'm not a type of person to let somebody instigate me with another dude that is from the streets, bro. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. So at the end of the day, he was trying to bump us his together while he sits back with his little boy Josh and collects the check from the views. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna allow that, bro. Right. I don't need the money. I don't need the cloud. He had asked me, "Hey, yo, your interview went viral, man. Can you come do some news clips?" I said, like, "I got you. I went show love for free, bro. I didn't charge Damn. nothing." So when I'm doing that, you know, I, I took a bunch of food over there. Bro. I'm talking $1,000 worth of uh, Armenian, Mediterranean food, put it on oh, the table, nice. fed the entire fucking office, bro. Shh. Free of charge, out of the heart. You feel me? Nice. But yeah, man. I mean, and yeah, he has. So look, you got to look at it, bro. The same way he bumped heads with me, he lost AD. Yeah. AD protected that place, bro. Yeah, bro. he did. What happened with AD? Again, he spoke behind his back, said some shit to Lush. Lush, like a little bitch, went and told AD. Boom. He got fired. On All the that spot. shit happened. Same on camera, thing, yeah. Same thing with everybody. Same thing with every single time it's the same story. So he has a habit of that. And I told him, I said, look, Adam, you keep doing the same mistake. Good people are in your corner. I was a solid one in your life, bro. You just shout that out like that. So it's all love. I mean, it is what it is, bro. I don't, uh, uh, what's his name? Batman Kev or whatever, the white boy from my, uh, 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 Kev. He said, "Does oh, a podcast?" Quite, uh, I uh, uh, Boule K. I don't fucking know. Yeah, he had asked me like, "Yo, man, you know, I'm see. Can, can you come to the podcast?" Yeah. I said, "Nah, man, I'm cool. If you're gonna have me talk about this dude, Adam, I'm not even gonna come because I'm not, I'm not trying to go other places and speak on it when I could say shit directly to him. That's not the type of person I, feel I am. You, you feel I feel me? you. So uh, I, if I don't respect other people doing that, I shouldn't be doing right. it. Right. So I will never go to any podcast trash Adam's name. That's not me. If that's the way he is, hey, I respect it. He's never been to prison. I don't expect for him to live by the rules and regulations that I've been taught that I live by as of today. Right. Now, Wag, obviously, I could expect that from him. That is why I told him, I said, look, bro, you and I are from the streets. Whether we like each other, respect each other, I'm not going to let some white boy make us bump heads because he's sitting there sending me text messages behind your back saying, yo, G-Face is talking shit mm. and other way around, Wag's talking shit. I just don't think that's it just, right. It don't bro. settle yeah, for you. Man, yeah. Settle with you. I mean, yeah. yeah. If, if, if I'm gonna say something, let me. Because I kept asking him. I said, "Look, next time <clears throat> Wag 100 is there, let me come to that podcast, bro. Let me come." Are there. you allowed over there still? Or are you not sure? Me, yeah. yeah. So you can He's still been go. Asking no problem. Me, like, yo, come. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Bro, I'm like, we ain't got nothing to talk about. Once you show me your colors, once we done. You fool me once, shame on you. you fool me twice, shame on me. That part. Yeah, I got no issues with him. We we on talking terms. The last text message from Adam, bro, is, hey, if you want to come, we could just, me and you talk about it. Yeah. I said, we got nothing to talk about, bro. It's all respect. You do you. I'm going to do me. So that's it. Because three days after that, uh, um, T-Rail went on that on that podcast talking about, yo, if I see your little kid, yeah, I'm going to kick And I went yeah, off. Yeah, that's real, shout, out, shout out to homie T-Rail, but, but that, yeah. was, that was... um. Yeah, that's that, passing function. the line, yeah. bro. Cause you know, me personally, bro, I, I have small kids, bro. Yeah, hey, T Rail, hey, if that, you want to run that face, man, fair. anytime, bro, hit me up on my Instagram. I'll dog your ass out for saying some shit like that in front of a, <laughs> about a little kid. Dead on me, G Face will fight you, bro. I'm a, I'm a hustle underscore nomic. Hit me up. We can run that any day, bro. One on one, free of charge, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't condone that, bro, right. for a little kid. Right, right. And, and you could tell he ain't been to prison, bro, because it, it, nobody condones that. How you, how you gonna hit a little child? Fuck Adam. We ain't even talking about Adam. We're talking about a little innocent child that has never done nothing to nobody. Yeah. yeah. Period. Bro, I, I stand kids for out that child, it. homie. No, As for sure. As a father of a five year old kid. Exactly. That you see right there, I stand for that child. Right. Nobody else. Off top. Yeah, on the dead homies, bro. So that shit ain't cool, bro. That's the only reason. But, and again, you see, I'm not talking to Adam. I could have took T Rail side, but I'm the type of person, I don't have to like you. What's right is right. What's wrong is wrong. And that's true. On. That is true, my man. You know I mean? that's, that's real shit right there. Yes, sir. That's real fucking shit, bro. What you, uh, now you was telling me off camera that, um, you want to start your own podcast. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. I'm already going to do it. Yeah, I already picked the name G Talk with G Face. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, G Talk, G -talk with, with G Face. With G okay. So as soon as I get, so what I'm going to do is a lot of people, like I said, they can hate on me. And I've always said this to people. Mm -hmm. I've met people that said, hey, bro, I'm not going to lie to you, man. You're one of the most solid individuals I've ever met. Before meeting you, there's this energy about you that I never liked. Yeah. But once I got to know you, you're the most, Awesome person in the world. Sometimes it's like that, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, you know, like like it could be a coworker, let's say. Everybody right? judges a poke by a yeah, server, That's bro. facts, bro. facts, bro. Yeah. 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 So yeah, what sure. I want to do is when I get on there, I want to talk about my entire life, my entire prison life, my mental health issues. Cause see, people that are watch this, oh, he's in a Lambo. Oh, he got, you know, a quarter million dollar watch. Oh, it's, 
They don't understand, bro. My demons inside, dog. I deal with re ridiculous levels of panic attacks, bro. Oh, like anxiety and shit? Well, anxiety is like this. I'm talking about, I wake up at 2 in the morning. I can't breathe, bro. Like, I'll oh, be on the floor. Increase the heart rate and all crying, that shit. Dog. Yeah. yeah. See, like, I'm I'm embarrassed of saying this shit. I'll be on the floor crying, like, telling my wife I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Like, I, I just, I don't know what happens, bro. It just hits me. Like, I'll be yeah. in the middle of the driving and I have to pull over. My heart just, like... It's like a rock is on my chest, bro. You feel me? Ooh. PTSD. Like, Are you stressed over anything? Bro, so look, what's weird is I did all that prison time. Okay. Perfectly fine. I got out. This shit started happening. So when I went to see a psychiatrist or whatever, psychologist, I said, man, it didn't make no sense. All that year I was in, all this time I was in prison, nothing happens. I get out because they, uh, they diagnosed me with... They said PTSD, PTSD okay. high levels of panic attacks, and, and uh, uh, what did he say? Bipolar disorder, right? Okay. So I said, wait a minute, though. I go, how can I have PTSD when, when I was in prison, nothing was, you know, yeah. I'm out now, I'm free. Right, right. He said, what military man do you know that, I was ha that was having PTSD in Iraq? It's when they come back that it starts happening. That's and true. that's the truth, that's bro. True. When they're serving, it's when they come back that's that true. they'll hear a car pass by and like, ooh, is this a, you know, that's is this a grenade? Because a lot of shit that 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 happens in prison in a certain way you got to yeah, be. Bro. Sometimes that you know you're like that when you yeah. get out. You know you got a certain you know certain way you look around and so shit. Look, and when I used to be in prison, let's say I'd be on the table playing cars or whatever. Yeah. And you know how you hear like the rubber hitting the shoes like this uh -huh. little noise. Soon as you hear that in prison, you turn around. It's a riot, bro. It's a riot. Or somebody running up on you or something. Either or. Yeah. And it's every time like that. So now when I'm out sometimes at home and I hear my kids playing around, bro, like at home, bro, I'll get up, fuck you, motherfucker. And I'll start yelling at them, throwing shit. And my kids are like, oh my God. And my wife will tell me, dude, what the fuck did you just do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll be like, they're running around me. They're like, yo, they're your kids. And that's when I stopped myself, like, yo, this is wrong, bro. Like, fuck. so that's why I'm telling you, like, I, I started getting help. And then it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. And just like, Obviously, nobody's going to... You know how they say the life you live on Graham is like that side mirror sign. Right. Objects are closer than they appear. Uh. Man, this money, all this shit. Me, when I go home, when the chain comes off, when the money goes in the safe, when the clothes come off and I'm in my PJs, bro, I'm going through panic attacks, stress. My wife like, hey, just drink this pill. Do like, you smoke weed? So, when I, so look, I've smoked weed my whole life, right? Does it help you? It gets me worse. Okay, so it causes anxiety. Man, even worse. Okay, yeah. so so okay, so look, I'm gonna put you on game with with um what I want you to start doing, dog. Yeah. <clears throat> Number one, what type of water do you drink? To be honest with you, I never drink water. I'm always drinking orange juice, um, Gatorade, Powerade. Yeah. I barely drink water, which okay. I should be. Okay, so look, cause you got enough money to do this yeah. shit, right? Drink nothing but Canjin alkaline water. Alkaline water. Switch all the water in the house. Start drinking a lot of alkaline water. Um, get you some organic apple cider vinegar. Okay. Okay. And buy you some organic lemongrass tea. What lemongrass tea does, it's an anti-anxiety. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm it, it had, it had, yeah, yeah. Or chamomile tea. You know what I'm saying? Some chamomile tea. Uh, lemongrass tea or some kava kava, which okay. is Hawaiian tea. Okay. Okay. It tastes like shit, but it fucking works, bro. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, one hundred percent, bro. Yeah. And, and, and and just you know, and like you said, homie, just pray about it too, dog. You know. So that's all I've been doing, like, cause look, yeah. they originally put me on medication when I was in, uh, uh, when I went to in, right? They right. Orig originally when you was in prison. Out. No, no, no. When, when I got out, when I got out, they okay. put me on because my wife was like, "Yo, you're getting really bad." Yeah. So they put me on a bunch of Seroquel and Effexors and all this bullshit. Bro, I started gaining weight. I started oh. feeling nasty, and I got off cold turkey. I'm like, I'm dumping this shit out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little did I know, you're not allowed to go tur cold turkey on these psych meds, bro. So I started having blurry visions, passing out. Oh. They put me back on it again, winked me off slowly. So I said, I'm oh. never doing this shit again. Hell no. So now the only thing that's been really helping me, bro, is prayer, bro. God there is the only go. thing. I'm I'm not taking no psych meds, nothing. Prayer, 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 bro. Like, I, I'll, like for instance, I'll be at the gym, right? I'll do some fast push-ups. I'll, I'll do a superset. Bro, as soon as I put the weight down and I'm running to an AC. That's why I asked your producer if you could put an air conditioner. Yeah, hell yeah. Saying, yeah. Right, right, right. This is not because I thought I, I thought I sweated, but nah, shit. Bro, my anxiety levels through the roof. Right, bro. right, when right. When I'm at a pacer, I'm not. Yeah. They never prescribed you like Xanax or, or anything so like they that? They did. Or? I said Xanax, Effexors, okay. uh, uh, Seroquel, nothing helps. Because everything has its own... Has its own uh, a side effect. You know what I mean? Do you have high blood pressure? 
Always, always, man. So you do always. have, you do suffer from high blood. I'm high telling blood, you, I'll be, like, I'll be passing out at home, just talking, passing out. Okay, so yeah. looks. Okay, so look, this blood pressure through the roof. But when we go to the emergency, they be like, oh, it's not high enough. It's not high enough. Uh, but I'm feeling blurry visions and everything. Right. Yeah. Okay, so this is, uh, this is something else I want you to do, big dog. In the mornings. Get some ground ginger. You got. You got to. I hope your wife is taking notes right now. Get off your Okay. Trust okay. Yeah, that's or my, just watch the episode that's, again or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But ground ginger. That's my backbone. That part. Look. So get some ground ginger. Ground cinnamon. Ground um, cayenne pepper, and some uh, fuck. What is it? Ginger cinnamon. Ground pepper. I need you to text me all that. I mean, not ground pepper. Ground uh, cayenne pepper. Organic honey. And lemon juice. Okay. And you make a tea out of it. Okay. What that's going to do, dog, it's going to naturally lower your blood pressure. It opens up the blood vessels. Drink it once a day. You can do it twice a day. Okay. Do it in the mornings. Fast. And the anxiety goes away? 100%. Wow. Start fasting, dog. Trust me, dog. Start fast. Do that shit on an empty stomach and don't eat till fucking like after 2 o'clock. Till the sun goes down. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, okay, after five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 4 4.30. You yeah. know, it gets dark early now. And I don't even now. eat during the day. I eat at night zone. Oh, there you go. But that could be it, too. See, sometimes you can have anxiety at night if you eat too late. You start getting heartburn and shit. It starts fucking with, you, with your esophagus and yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting you on game right so now, So, let me ask you this. Yeah, There's yeah. times that I'll put on a jacket, right? Like okay. this. Yeah. And I'll start feeling that claustrophobia, bro. Like, I'll start okay. having panic attacks. Yeah. I'll, I feel like I have to take all my clothes off. Right, 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 right. I'm able to breathe again. What is that from, bro? Like, it, 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 well, I could see you put on another jacket right now and me looking at you. I'll start feeling like anxiety and, and panic attacks. Like, it, it's, 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 it's. It's mental. Yeah, it is. It's mental, dog. I remember the first time it happened. Shit out your mind. I I remember the first time it happened. Yeah, it was like three months after I got home. Everything was good. I remember I was sleeping at night. I woke up at two in the two in two in the morning, Mm -hmm. and I was telling my wife, "Yeah, I was like, I can't breathe." Yeah, bro, I didn't understand what was going on. You know how you try to get that. That deep breath, yeah. it was not coming in. Yeah. The more I tried to do it, the more less I started breathing. You know what's fucked up about anxiety attacks and panic attacks is that it could go two ways when it comes to somebody you're talking to. Yeah. Either one, you don't want to fucking talk to nobody, or number two, you want to talk to somebody to psych yourself out. That's Dog, it. I used to wake up. Check this out because I can relate 100%, homie. I used to wake up. You used to have anxiety. Oh my! But how was your attack? I'm, I'm finna, I'm finna okay. tell you how it happened. Some people are different. No, nah, I'm, I'm finna break okay. it exactly how I would get it. So number one, okay, I'm knocked out good. I'm sleep like a motherfucker. Uh-huh. I wake up around maybe let's say it would be two thirty, three o'clock in the morning. Okay, I would start feeling it in my toes, See, and and, and, and in my feet, and then the shit would just start coming up, coming up, and I'm like, what are you feeling? <laughs> Like some type of ting, like just some some weird feeling. But you and it was breathing you just did. Yeah, can you do that. During I, I'm trying to. Okay, you're trying when, to. when during that during uh, that yeah. right during the moment of it, and then you know then 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 you know it's like this um like a nausea butterfly feel that increases. Like you gotta take a shit or something, yeah. and then the heart rate starts do 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 do, and you're like fuck. You start sweating, hands start swaying, shit. Man, I I need to go for a walk, homie. So I would literally I would literally fucking I wonder if that's American Cholo. Let's see. Let's see if that was him. Let's see if that was him. Yeah, that was Gil. Let me call this food back real fast. I'm, I'm going to finish this story. Yeah, go ahead. Gil. This is Gil. Leave your name in there. Ah, shit. Yeah, what were we saying? Call back. But anyway, okay, so, so it got to the point where I'm like, damn, bro, I need to go for a walk to walk it off. So sometimes, and shout out to people out there that do suffer from anxiety attacks or panic attacks, sometimes you got to walk that shit off, dog. You got to put some music on and just just psych yourself out. Or make a phone call to somebody that you know that's going to be awake at that time. And just conversate with them. And before you know it, for an hour goes by, the anxiety attack's gone. You're good. Now you can go back night-night. Go back to fucking sleep. So you know what's been helping me when I would get it? Yeah. Well, first, I didn't know what it was. Or I would put the Xbox on, fool. Or put my PS5 on. And play GTA or something. Now I'm focused because again, it's mental, homie, right? So now my I'm focused on something totally different. I'm not focused on the panic attack right. that's happening at the moment. Right. My mind and thoughts is focused on something else. So before you know it, like I said, 30, 45 minutes to an hour go by, you ain't got the anxiety attack no more. You good. Yeah. Oh shit, now I'm ready to go night night now, motherfucker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of it comes from stress, it could come from depression. It could come from worrying about right. bullshit that you're not supposed to be worrying about. Yeah. And sometimes it could just be you need to just, 
Just all types of you know, shit. So look, there you know are times saying? at home, right? I'm chilling. Yeah. Mind you. I... Goddamn. Fucking Gil. That's Gil. American Cholo Gil, what's up? You you what's like? Up? What's up? What's up, fool? You 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 live, homie. I'm doing an episode with G Face right now, dog. What's up, AC? Oh, oh, is that right? Yeah, we live right now in the air, pimp. What's cracking, dog? Okay, I'll check you guys out right now. Yeah, yeah. Hey, fool. So so I, I want. I was trying to see. I I, I was like, damn. I think Gil Salvadoran, but nah, you're Honduran, right? From Honduras, Catacho. from Honduras, homie. Ah, that's right, homie. All right, cool. I just needed confirmation, dog. <laughs> uh, all right, fool. You guys run it. All right, fool. I'll hit you later. A, all right, later. Right. For sure. Yeah. Go ahead. So what I was saying is like. <clears throat> you you see, you'll say, oh, I got cars. I got no problems with financial, nothing, right? right? Or I'll be at home, I'll break down, and I'll just start crying. I'm talking about in my wife's lap. Yeah. Like, man, I want to fucking off myself. I want to, and then she'll tell me, why? What's wrong? And she'll be like, you know how many people there are that would love to be in your shoes, that can't even pay their rent today? And and that's when I start thinking to myself, like, what is it? Like, that's why I know it's mental, bro, because- It has the, to be. The, 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 the depression that I go through is fucking out of this world. I never let nobody see it. My parents don't see it. Uh, well, my mom, because my pops is dead, but my right, mom right, don't right. see it. My, my my brothers don't see it. Only my wife. My friends don't see it. it, it, it there's really, I'm, to be honest with you, this is the shit I was going to talk about on my podcast. This is the first po podcast I'm ever talking about this right, shit. And I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and I'm, uh, the reason I want to do it, because I know there's so many people like me that I want to tell them, bro, this is not the end. Because, bro, I'm scared to sleep at night because every single night, not on the weekends, every single night that I go to sleep, yeah. I force myself to stay up as long as I can so that when I'm tired, I'm dead tired. Because if I go to sleep an hour later, I'm getting up and I'm even for bread. Yeah. And the only thing that I noticed has been helping me is two things. Number one, I'll stand in front of a fan or AC, mm -hmm. boom, it'll go away. Right. And number two, if I'm standing next to my wife, right, I'll be like this, babe, I'm all right, right? Babe, I'm all right, right? I'm going to be good, right? Just tell me I'm going to be good. And exactly. she'll be like, you're going to be all right. And right. boom, it goes away. There you go. But it's just weird. Like, it, I don't it, it sucks. It, it bro. sucks, like, bro. The first time. I keep thinking I need to have an operation and have my pipes open. Nah, it is none it that. Is, nah, but, but see, the thing is, when you're dealing with something like that at the moment, you start thinking the worst shit. Yeah. I remember I had a, a homeboy. Uh, shout out my boy Rolo, and um, he, you know, he loves his weed, mm -hmm. right? But this fool had an edible one day, and it was like a powerful fucking edible. It was like a big ass Rice Krispie treat. I said, "Hey, bro, I don't think you should eat the whole thing." Yeah, this motherfucker didn't listen to me. So sure enough, motherfucker knocks out. It's like six o'clock in the evening on a Saturday, yeah. which is early to be going to sleep, right? He knocks out. He wakes up at eight thirty. Praying, dog, sweating, having his eye tripping, throws up every, hey, dog, I don't want to die, bro. I hope God forgives me for my sins. Like, he's fucking tripping, yeah. right? I said, bro, just just, just breathe, bro. I said, you know what, dog? We're going to go for a drive, dog, and I'm going to put the AC on with the windows down. So you just get extra airflow, that's and I'm that's what we did, dog. We went I'm to the down. beach, bro, and, and, and he was good after that. But, again, when you're having something like that, you got to try to think positive thoughts. You want to go for a walk either conversate with somebody or things like that. It's not about the medication. Yeah. Fuck that medication You know shit. what sucks, G? Not to <clears throat> interrupt you. Yeah, you good. A lot of people will say, oh, you know, there's America's, you know, the drug ep crack ep epidemic, all mm -hmm. this and that. Uh, it, it, what sucks is a lot of people are, are not schooled. And like I tell my wife, I feel bad because she don't really understand how bad mental health is. And this world, this America doesn't know how bad this mental health shit is because when you hear somebody say they killed themselves, the first thing you do is, how can you possibly put a gun in your head and pull the trigger? Like, oh. I would never see myself doing that. <laughs> or, what do you mean you can't breathe, right? I used to say that when I used to watch this shit. Like, oh, man, yeah. was like how's that possible? Like, yeah. you must be a weak-ass dude. But, you know, in, in order for you to be, have like have mental health issues, you got to be a weak-ass dude. Like, I used to say, I've been in a shoe. I've been in a hole for 24 months. 24-hour lockdown, I didn't give a shit. I did that like a G. Right. But when I stopped breathing, dog, it's not me. It's not that I'm weak. It's just... Mental, bro, and yeah. that's what a lot of us ain't understand because right. not a lot of people are educated in this mental health shit. Man, it's real. It's serious, it man. Is. Whoever's watching this, if you're going through the same thing as me, you are not alone. It can happen to the best of us, man. It's happening to me. Yep. It's happening to my boys. So, oh, yeah, it's happening Hey, before. there's a way. Hey, I would say pray to your God or whoever you believe in, and I promise you it'll be all right, man. Yeah, and sometimes it can come from trauma. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Overthinking too much, Absolutely. bro. And see, I'm a Gemini. Yeah. So I naturally yeah. overthink about shit, but I had to um, come the way I think yeah. and not overthink. Well, see, you say thinking. To me, every day I wake up, yeah. so I got a mortgage to pay. I got another house mortgage. I got seven car payments. I got 
all this shit on my, my kids' private school. Wife got to get my, So everything is on my shoulders. Bro. Right. Everything. So my mind is so many places. It's racing. Yeah, bro. Uh, sometimes just on overdrive, bro. Mm, yeah. Just, um, like I said, what I can tell you, bro, that's going to work for sure is lemongrass tea, kava kava Definitely tea, try that out. and chamomile tea. I guarantee you, dog. I guarantee you. Or, homie, take some ashwagandha gummies, bro. Or CBD gummies. Yeah. Oh, that I shit work. That oh, no. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll text you the whole letter. Give it to you while I tell her. Yeah, yeah, no, 100%, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because like you said, Appreciate homie, mental that, health, bro. dog, is, is serious, bro. You know what I'm saying? I've met people, bro, they seem happy as fuck. And the next thing you know, oh, this fool killed himself. What the fuck? That's exactly what I'm saying. And that shit is scary, bro. Yeah. That shit happened fucking to my scary. Boys. I'm like, why? How? Yeah. We didn't see no signs. Because they're not showing it to people, you know? They're not telling people, hey, they're not asking for help. Right. That part. And they see, that's they the thing. And, 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 or it's going to just wear off. And see, and that's the thing. Us as men, you can't feel less of a man because you ask for help. Man. Sometimes in life, bro, you got to ask for Absolutely, help, bro. Man. Me personally, I don't like asking a motherfucker for Me shit. Either, but sometimes when it comes to spiritual guidance, mental health or something, sometimes you got to ask, bro, because you never knew this motherfucker standing right by you been through the same shit or worse. People looking at me, bro, they would never think, oh, that nigga Jinx never had anxiety, panic attacks, this and that. Yeah, I dealt with it, bro, from trauma from all the people I've lost. And that shit would just fuck with me. You see what I'm saying? And then, and then I had to let it not fuck with me anymore. I had to stop it, dog. And it takes, it takes time, bro. But also, working out helps. Changing sometimes the way you eat helps too, dog. You see, you said working That's out That's just helps. deep, bro. For me, I couldn't work out because once I do heavy weights and I have to breathe hard, yeah. I would go through that man panic attack. So, so you couldn't do a treadmill, boxing type shit, or nothing. Hell, this shit. day, if I get on a treadmill. So look, they, originally <clears> I thought <throat> it was my breathing, right? They took me to doctors. Like to asthma this, or some shit? Right. So the doctors took me to this place to put this thing on my face and just run. And then they try to put me through that CT scan thing because you got yeah, it's a stress. It's called a stress machine or, or bro, something like yeah, that. I yeah, was, yeah, it was like a chicken with my head cut off, bro. Are you I, yeah, serious? I could not because you know they lay you down and they put you through this little ring. Is this a CT scan or whatever? What, what is that? Saw the thing they put you uh, like a cat's not cat's uh, yeah, when you or, lay down or, or something like that, right? Yeah, when like you lay a, down and you go in the circle, it's an imager. Yeah, it's yeah, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, man, I, I was about to. I thought I was in a fucking casket buried underground. Nah, that's just claustrophobic, dog. Like yeah. you're in a tight ass fucking spaceship yeah, bro, or some it's, shit. It's just bad, bro. But like I said, I'm working on it. It's nowhere near what it was when it first started three years ago. Right. But I'm still dealing with it, man. I don't know what it is. Like I said, it's it's just a different type of anxiety. Because I met people that say they have anxiety, and I will tell them, "Hey, do you have problems breathing?" They be like, "No, I'll just do this. I don't do all this. I just can't breathe, bro. Mm. I'm just just gasping for air." And every time I take that deep breath, it's all bad. And I'm so, always so, sweating like so, a pig. So, um, what was I going to say to you? Damn, I lost my train of thought, bro. Uh, yeah, just do, like I said, bro. Yeah, hey, I'm going to take I that advice, man. I really want to try it out. I, I, I guarantee it will help you, dog. Can't wait. Bro. And I don't guarantee yeah, that a lot of shit. When I do, bro, it, it, Where I, do you I, buy that from? Whole Foods? It, See, what the which one the all this Oswego, stuff that you're talking uh, about. Oh, you could go. There's a place, bro, called Nature's Way. Because I'm gonna slide out and get it. Okay, yeah. It's I live in the valley, so right. Nah, there's a place you could go to, bro. It's called Nature's Way. Or you could go to like Trader Joe's, you could go to Walgreens, Walmart Target, Chamomile tea, lemongrass tea, kava kava. Target has it? Oh, 100 percent hey, Target, yeah. But get try to get the organic one. If you could. Target? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Target sells organic okay. products and shit. Or you could go Rouse. Albertsons, you know, State yes, of Brothers, on it. Food I'm for on Less, it. whatever. I'm on it. But get that shit, bro, and take that shit before you go to sleep, dog, and you'll be good. Or, or, or like I said, CBD, right? Since you don't smoke weed no more, buy some CBD gummies or buy some uh, ashwagandha, bro. Hey, I take the ashwagandha, dog, four of those gummies a night. Say less. That shit's like I've had maybe a whole bottle of this shit right here, dog. You know what I'm saying? But I appreciate you pulling up, dog. I didn't know the conversation was going to turn to this bro but it's good homie to let people know bro because a lot of people out here bro that suffer from mental health anxiety panic out. attacks and all that shit they don't know how to reach out to nobody dog and open their mouth up and, re and and ask for help dog you know what i'm saying so it's all about information like you didn't have, you didn't know the information no, I until didn't. i told you yeah, yeah. i've and, never and, spoke i'm telling right. you i never spoke about and, this and, and, but that's gangster what you yeah, did yeah. because nobody's seen the side of g face yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying and I'm to me dog and, but that's g 
That is gangster because you kept it a buck with yeah, me, that's dog. That's why I said G talk with G face. That's what that I'm that part. All yeah, my, hey, I got to pull parts. up to the podcast, yeah, dog. Oh, you already know for sure, yeah. dog. And we got to do a part two on this motherfucker Whenever too. Whenever you're ready, I'm here. I'm for down, you, dog. dog. For sure. I support the movement. Thank you, brother. Let everybody know where they can find you at, dog. Yeah, man. Um, my YouTube, man. Please subscribe to my YouTube. It's G Face Music. My Instagram is posted right there, and I, I got all the new music coming out. Spotify, Apple. Music, wherever, all platforms, just type G-Face. All my shit is there. G-Space, F-A-C-E. There we go. Like he said, this has been another classic episode of Drinks with Jinx, the podcast where we chill, conversate, drink, and we keep it G. That's Until right. next time, we is out. My nigga, I'm gone. Turned up in the zone. VIP with a bitch all alone. My nigga, I'm gone. From the